Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's a girl Chiso. If you are new here, I do videos on faith, lifestyle, and business. Today, I will be sharing my seven day journey during doing the doing Lauren Girado's 12 to 30 workout. Let's go ahead and get started. But before we get started, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, let go. So I decided to do this workout because I wanted a different challenge. I typically do a lot of hit and I wanted a different challenge in my life to kind of to mix up my workouts a bit. I was seeing so many people on YouTube do the 12 feet 30 and I was like, you know what, let me just try it out. I was seeing amazing results and at the time when I did this workout, I was eating like crap i was not sleeping i was not working out consistently and so i was like, okay this would be a great workout to reset my fitness i was looking to feel more healthier at the end of the seven days opposed to trying to lose as much as weight as i could i know that if i, I knew that if i drank my water ate right slept enough that I would eventually lose those inches and lose that weight that I was looking to lose. My results were pretty much based on what I saw in the mirror. I didn't want to be so focused on the numbers and everything. So for day one, so day four, day one was by far the hardest. I thought I was in shape, but day one really beat me because I was sweating a storm. My legs were burning. I was like, yo, I did not expect all this to happen. Walking on three miles per hour uphill on 12. <sighs> Anyways, day one was actually pretty challenging for me. Um, and I noticed that it felt like I was just on the treadmill forever. One thing about me is I hate stationary workouts. I hate being on a bike. I hate doing treadmill workouts if I'm not I'm changing up my movements. So this was actually very hard for me um, physically and mentally. But one thing I did find that helped was um, finding a way to ent entertain myself. So sometimes I'd watch a sermon or do a podcast or just watch a, uh, um, a, a YouTube video. And that really helped the time pass by quicker. By day two, at the beginning of day two before I did my workouts, I checked my results and I noticed, or I checked my body and I noticed that I was becoming less bloated. So the first day I was really bloated within my stomach and my arms and also my face as well. By the second day I started seeing a little bit more definition. I noticed that my arms and my stomach had slimmed down and I was very happy with that. I did not expect that to happen at the beginning of day two. But day two's workouts were just as hard as day one for me. Hello, welcome to day two of this challenge. I'm actually excited for today. I don't think I did too bad on the first day. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. I saw a little bit of results. My soon to eat, oh my God, I'm crashing. Anyways, my soon to be abs are getting a bit, a bit of definition. So I am ready for day two because it is nearing summertime and I need to get my holy girl summer body. So. Let go. Um, as I said before, I hate stationary workouts. Hey, I was a sprinter all my life, and so we always had different workouts all the time. And after I was, was done with my whole track career, I did weightlifting, and there's always different movements. And usually, I usually do typically do weights and hits, so there's always different movements. But this 30 minutes of walking on a treadmill, walking is actually one of my favorite exercises. Um, it's actually one of the best ways that it was one of the ways that helped me lose weight more effectively. But walking on a treadmill is so different. Oh my goodness, it's completely, it's just completely different. But I was, day one, day two was just as hard as day one <laughs> for me. I think because I didn't get as much of sleep the night before. Um, but I was struggling a bit. I was stretched in sweat, which I did not expect. Um, and I was just tired. At the end of it, at the end of it, at the end of it all, I was counting down the seconds of when the workout would end because it was difficult. Okay, at the beginning of day three, I noticed that I had slimmed down significantly, especially in the same areas, um, and also in my thighs as well. In my thighs and my booty, and then also in my arms and my stomach, I had slimmed down quite a bit, and I was very happy with that. Um, the intensity of the workout does bring in results for sure, and I also believe that me eating quite healthy, so I was on a plant-based meal plan throughout this whole challenge, and I feel like that 
was really what sped up the results as well. And also drinking like six, six water bottles a day also helped with speeding up the results. So by day three, I was looking a bit more toned. Um, and day three's workout was also a bit easier. I was very happy um, that I accomplished it <laughs> without thinking about quitting like 10 times in 30 minutes. Extremely happy with, to see such like sudden results. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's day three of the challenge and I feel pretty good today. Um, I'm, I don't know if I've noticed a change in my body structure, but I do to notice that my face is starting to slim out a bit, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, that is where I'm at right now. I'm about to go do day three of this and I'll be back with an update. Group. Day four and five. I don't know what was with me during this workout. I feel like it was just like hard or hard, easy, and then hard. I think it was because just the lack of sleep I was getting. But day four and five, I actually got pretty, I got used to the intensity and I actually increased the time I was on the treadmill by like five minutes. Yeah, it just got a lot easier um, and I felt more healthier and energized. I felt more productive as well throughout my day. Um, so I was very happy with how the workout, how the workout went on day four and day five, and how I felt throughout the whole entire day. I just started noticing that my confidence was coming back. Um, I felt more productive. I wanted to make the right choices for my body, or what I put, put make the right choices um, in regards to what I put in my body. So I was very happy with the way the workout went day four, day five, and how it affected my whole entire day. So it is day five of the challenge, and I feel like I'm looking a lot better. I feel like my stomach is starting to slim up, uh, and I also feel like my, um, I was quite, uh, <laughs> my face was quite bloated at the beginning of this challenge, just probably because I was eating like crap. Two, I wasn't drinking water. Three, I wasn't getting enough sleep. But I feel like it has started starting to slim back down. So I'm very happy with that. Um, so update. Um, stomach looks a bit better. I just drank a bottle of water. I should have probably have not done that. But we are here and I think that I'm progressing slowly but surely. So let's go ahead and finish off day five and I'll catch you guys after that. By day six and day seven, I feel like my body just did a complete like 180. The intensity was, I got really used to the intensity and I increased um, the time I was on the treadmill by like 10 to 15 minutes. So day five, I think day six I did 10 extra minutes and day seven I did 15 extra minutes um, because it did, got, it did get easier by the end of the week. Um, and I was so motivated by the results, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sit here for a bit longer. I noticed on day six and day seven that I was de-bloated. I noticed that my face has slimmed down and I could actually see the definition within my cheekbones. My stomach has slimmed down and I saw my um, abs becoming defined again. I was shocked at the results I got at the end of seven days um, and I didn't really want to focus on the numbers like um, measuring myself or being on the scale because I'm trying to have a more of a healthy mindset when it comes to my body shape um, just because you can your body can change and you don't lose any weight and my whole goal for this was to become more healthier and I believe I accomplished that goal as the results I'm gonna put the results I have right here the results speak for itself. My body composition changed. I Not only that, I felt a lot more energized, um, motivated, productive, um, and healthier. I was so happy with how this challenge went. Recommendations. So, recommendations. I would definitely try to entertain yourself throughout the workouts. Watching a video, a sermon, whatever you wanna do, whatever you use to entertain yourself. That would help the that helps the workout go by a lot faster. So drinking enough water. So I drink about like six, 16. So I drink about six, 16 ounce, six, 16 ounce, ounce water bottles a day. Um, and I definitely believe that played a huge um, role when it came to um, me being me being less bloated. And I was also eating pretty clean. Um, I didn't restrict myself. I'm trying to have more of a healthy mindset when it comes to my relationship with food. I don't want to see like 
this as like bad food and this like junk food as bad food and greens as good food. I just want to make sure I have a more balanced meal. And so um, with that, with having a more like eating more intuitively, I noticed that the results eating more intuit intuitively helped me see results quicker. I would definitely recommend this workout to anybody. I think this is a great workout for beginners. If you're looking to start your fitness journey, get back in shape, I think this is a great workout to do. You will see the results. Then again, everyone's, everyone's body is different, but I was very happy with the results, not only physically, but um, the results I had mentally. So yeah, that is all I have for you guys. If you guys want to be part of the Holy Girl Glow Challenge, be sure to click the link below and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.